Greetings everyone and welcome to this introductory video on the two one-sided t-tests for equivalence testing. There might not always be circumstances in your study protocol where you might want to show superiority of one treatment over another. Sometimes just showing equivalence might suffice, especially when your resources such as gathering patients or samples are not optimal. Moreover, if after performing statistical significance testing, such as the independent samples t-test, you get a non-significant result, it does not necessarily mean that the two treatments are equivalent. It might be the case that the study lacked sufficient power to detect a significant effect. In such a case where we accept the null hypothesis, that is, a non-significant result, it might be prudent to perform equivalence testing. The two one-sided t-test also known as TOST, is a popular and simple test which can detect equivalence of treatments. In the TOST, we perform two one-sided t-tests each for the upper and lower bounds. These bounds, also known as equivalence bounds, are set by us, the researchers. This is usually the most crucial point while performing this test. These bounds can be raw bounds or effect size bounds. Raw bounds are the scores which are utilized while setting the region of equivalence and effect size bounds, for example, Cohen's D, as explained in another uh, video of mine, are the bounds utilized derived from effect sizes, uh, above which the researcher considers the effects to be worthwhile. These bounds can be constructed from prior data, researcher experience, or calculations. In this example, data set uh, provided by Andy Field, the number of mischievous activities that people committed in one day was measured between two groups of people. One group who was given an invisibility cloak, which is give, uh, given as group one, and the second group who was not provided an invisibility cloak, which is written as group zero. We hypothesize that the number of mischievous acts is equivalent in both groups. That is, the invisibility cloak does not make a difference in the number of mischievous acts committed by the people. Now, we can select the Show Modules menu option right here at the far end on, of the screen in JASP to add the equivalence t-test module. I have already added the equivalence t-tests. You can add the this module by checking this box. Then, to perform the equivalence t-tests, <clears throat> just select this module right here and select on the independent samples t-test. Since these are two different groups of people, we will select the independent samples t-test and not the paired samples t-test. To perform the test, just uh, put the grouping variable, uh, which is the people who have been given the cloak and who have not been given the cloak into the grouping variable and the number of mischievous acts which is the continuous variable into the variables box and there we have it the software has done the calculation and analysis for us the, uh, the equivalence region <clears throat> will need to be set according to our experience or prior data that will be covered in the next video input options thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video